All right, Coach, I know it was a tough result the other day in Dallas. Uh, obviously, getting back and regrouping for Temple. You're at practice today. What did you like about your guys today as you kind of move from the page and get ready for the next? Well, I like how we responded. You know, uh, it was a tough loss, tough road game for us. Uh, but we learned a lot about ourselves and how we can get better. And I thought our guys had that type of approach the last few days in practice. You just played Temple a couple weeks ago. What can you take away from that as well? Tonight. Well, Temple's a very good basketball team. You know, they're they're athletic, they're long, and uh, I was impressed with their length and their and their ability to defend the ball the way they did up there. And so uh, we have to respect and understand we have to be better offensively. And then defensively, uh, we have to you know, identify who their primary scores are, and we have to do our best job to try to limit them their opportunities. We had a closer result the other day against Houston, one of the better teams in the league. Had you had a chance to maybe look at that film and then see what they did well to kind of hang tight? You know I did. And uh, what they did is they did the same things they did against us. I mean, they're shooting the ball better. They're shooting the ball with more confidence. And, and they've been a good defensive team the entire year. So uh, they have good talent, and they're capable of beating anyone, as they show versus Houston in a very good ball game. I think it was a five-point game. Uh, so we, we respect them. We know they're good, and we have to prepare that way. Well, I just want to see us continue to play UCF basketball. That's playing at 94 feet, playing with great pace, playing with really good space. When we do that, I think we're very successful. You know, when we get away from that, sometimes uh, it limits what we're capable of doing out there on the court. What has Brandon Mann been able to do the past few games? You know, he kind of started slow and really picked things up lately. One of your best players, obviously, he's established himself over the years. But what have you liked about him the last few games? Uh, just him being aggressive. You know, when he's aggressive, he's playing in attack mode. I think that makes us better. You know, uh, we try to put him in position to do that, and he's responded. How has your team responded following the SMU loss? What did you notice know today? Do you notice anything different about your team? Well, definitely. You know, we're a mature team. I thought our guys came in with the right approach. They were really focused, and they know that we have to try to bounce back, and that, that's very important. So the only way you can do that is, is preparation. And I thought our preparation was good today as far as our guys' level of focus and the energy they practiced with. Darius Johnson's been able to play a lot of the last couple of games. I know you talked about him kind of being the point guard of the future. He's kind of learning everything for the first time on the court. What have you seen from him now that he's going up against high-level teams in the American and, and with Michigan? Well, it's been great for him. He's had, you know, he's had quality minutes and some, and some big games for us, and that's going to just help his development. You know, one, he's played with a lot of poise. Uh, the moment has not been too big for him, and I, and I love to see that in a young player. Uh, he just kind of relishes that kind of challenge. And so uh, he's going to be good. He's going to keep developing and keep getting better, and uh, he makes us better when he's out there playing the way he's been playing. I knew Darius Perry knows he can play better than he did the last two games. What are you hoping to see from Darius tomorrow night against Temple? Well, Darius is a veteran. He's going to bounce back. He's had a couple of tough, tough nights, and uh, for him, it's just a function of just staying focused in what he does well, what he's been doing before these last couple games. Get back to doing that, which is being real, real solid defensively, and then taking high quality shots offensively. Appreciate home games. How well, it's important for us to come out, you know, we're at home and it's important for us to come out with energy and, and, and enthusiasm, but also understanding that, uh, you know, just because we're at home doesn't get it done for us. You know, it's going to happen because of our efforts, it's going to happen because of the way we play together and play off each other. We haven't seen Tony Johnson and Sean Mobley in a while. What's their status? Can you, can you say what their status is? Uh, right now, neither one of them are actually with us at this moment, and so we'll see what their status is as we go forward, but right now, uh, they're not with us. Coach, when the last time you were here, you know, had a major victory against Michigan. How does that kind of, you know, help with these next three games now being out there? Well, I mean, as you get a quality win against a good Michigan basketball team. It's good for us. It's good because when you win a game like that, your guys start to understand. You go from being a little bit of unsure, you know, how good you can be to, to believing that you can be good. And so I think, you know, your players make that jump when they have a game like that, when they're successful. And so for us, we want to build off of it. But to, the only way we can do that is to come every day in practice, come to get better and try to make it every situation that we play try to continue to improve. Do you think it'll be any different? You know, you play Michigan's a big team and now it's conference play at home. Do you think it's going to be a little bit different? Absolutely. You know, conference is conference. I mean, it always is a step up no matter what because teams know each other. We've been playing each other for years, so they know our system. We know theirs. So because of the scouting, it just changes everything. But we want to come out and just try to execute as best we can, both offensively and defensively. If we stick to the game plan, that gives you a chance to be successful. Well, if we can just defend and, and, and do a really good job on a defensive end, you know, making it difficult for them every possession, 
And then offensively, we can make more connecting plays. I think last game we had five assists. That's not UCF basketball. We have to do a better job of connecting with one another, and, we, and we're capable of doing that. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Coach. You got it. Always right. enjoy it. Thank you, you very much.